The face-off between the Tamil Nadu government and the governor is only escalating and now the chief minister MK Stalin has complained against Governor R.N. Ravi to the president. He has written to the president saying that R.N. Ravi is unfit to be a governor. My colleague Sam Daniel joining us for more on this and Sam, uh, tell us the details of what um, Stalin has written to the president. He's also said, uh, he's also listed a long list of quote-unquote violations by R.N. Ravi. What are these violations? Priyanshi, this is the second such letter by Chief Minister M.K. Stalin against the governor addressed to the president. And in this letter, he has given a long list of what he calls as serious violations by Governor R. N. Ravi in Tamil Nadu, which he says are against the constitution and against the oath of office he has taken and also against the interest of the people of Tamil Nadu and the state largely. Specifically, he points out if many such violations as he calls it. To begin with, he says it's beyond the governor's responsibility to first unilaterally drop a minister from his cabinet, pointing out the recent face-off when the governor for five hours had literally dismissed the arrested minister, Senthil Balaji, and then writes a letter putting it in on a bank. He says it's the prerogative of the chief minister and the governor has acted against the constitution. She also refers how the governor has worked against the government in terms of delaying assent to bills passed by the state assembly, and also how the governor works against the culture, belittles the Tamil language and the culture of Tamil Nadu by suggesting a change of name for Tamil Nadu, by glorifying Sanatan Dharma, as, as M.K. Stalin calls it, and being divisive in nature, uh, M.K. Stalin points out. And uh, uh, Stalin also leaves it to the president to decide whether it will be proper to let Governor Arun Ravi continue in this office. Will it be acceptable? And he also adds, giving all these reasons in his view, he says the governor has lost his qualification to be in this constitutional position. And he says he is looking for opportunity at every level to bring down an elected government in the state. And in that context, he will be only seen as an agent of the union government. And he also points out the governor sitting in the capital of a state run by the opposition party looks for opportunity to bring down the government. And that's something he says is unacceptable. Hmm. To be a little more specific, he says the governor is delaying needlessly the government's letter seeking permission for corruption charges to be probed against mm. former AADMK ministers. The governor shares his personal views on religion. The governor insults the constitution, MK Stalin says, calling the federal setup of India right. as uh, meant for administrative convenience. So a list of a long list. We are yet to receive any response from mm. the Raj Bhavan. But this, in, this development comes the day after the governor met the home minister and in a very ambiguous tweet, right. he had mentioned that he had a very purposeful meeting with the Home Minister. Yeah. All right.